hello guys in this video we will see how to create mysql instance on gcp or google cloud then we will see how to connect to mysql instance which is created on gcp from mysql workbench connect to google cloud console then click on this navigation menu then in the left menu click on sql see here cloud sql offers a fully managed database service for mysql postgresql and sql server okay now click on create instance see we have these three versions 8.0 5.7 and 5.6 click on choose mysql provide the instance name first mysql db instance id can be anything but we have to use lower case letters numbers and hyphens and it must start with a letter provide the password for root user see here set a password for root user here we can select the database version click on password policy see we have these many options we can set set minimum length we have to give length of the password like this we have to set the password policies scroll down see here we have enterprise and enterprise plus additions enterprise plus is high performance machines and up to 128 cpus high availability is up to 99.990 now select the production or development or sandbox select based on your requirements in my case i am selecting sandbox see once i selected sandbox cost pricing also changed we select production and see pricing is increased scroll down region see we have different regions it is always recommended to select your local region i am going with us central one here we have zone availability multi zone is for high availability for this sandbox purpose i am selecting single zone here we can select zones see we are able to see only us central one if we change region from us central to us system there here also zones will be changed so i am changing back us central in customize your instance click on show configuration options here also we can change like cpu information storage by default it has selected 10 gb for sandbox we can increase by clicking on this custom it's, it can be up to 65000 gigabytes for my sandbox 10 gb is enough also it is better to check this checkbox to enable automatic storage increases if it is if storage reaches 10 gb this option will increases without manual increase connections see we can give private and public public if we select public ip we can connect to mysql instance outside the google cloud environment keep this checkbox data protection see here automatic daily backups number of backups are seven and this is the backup window you can change any one days of the logs will be seven days for enterprise edition enable deletion protection which means if we don't enable we can directly delete the mysql instance if we enable this one we can't delete the mysql instance this i will show you at the end of the video why we have to enable this delete protection option maintenance any window any i'm not going to change anything these three are the optional flags query insights labels this is the summary this is the cost per hour this is the cost per day okay and this is a summary cloud sql edition is enterprise and this is the region mysql version cpus memory and other options these are the iops for this mysql instance click on create instance see the overview here this is the connection name wait some time it will populate here 
the IP of this machine. Wait, wait until this creating to be changed to created. It may take 1 to 5 minutes. Click on over here again. Click on refresh. See, public IP has been assigned. If we want to know whether it's created or not, click on this SQL. See, still it is in creating state. Wait until it is runnable or ready. See, still it is in creating state. It is for me it took 5 minutes. Also see here it is runnable. This is the public IP. This is the 2 CPUs, 8 GB memory and 10 GB SSD storage. This is the service account and this is the backup information and created date. Click on users. See we have only one user that is root user. Now databases. See, we have these four databases. These are the default databases comes with MySQL. Let's connect to MySQL from Workbench. Click on Overview. Copy this IP by clicking on this. Copy to clipboard option. MySQL Workbench. Click on this MySQL connections. This plus button. Here we have to provide connection name. I am giving GCP MySQL d1 here hostname we have to provide the ip of this one port is the same and root you can store in what here we have to provide the password of root user click on ok test connection surely you will get an error i will show you the error and solution for the error click on ok click on this root See, your connection attempt to fail. Okay. Why? Because go to instance, click on connections, click on networking. Here I have to add my IP that we can call as client IP. Click on add a network. Here in the name column, provide anyone. My IP address. You don't know your IP? Go to Google, then what is my IP? Click on what is my IP. So here we will get the IP address. Provide the IP here. Copy this one and paste here. I am hiding this IP for this security reasons. Click on done. Click on save. It is updated. Then close this one. Again click on this connection. Now we will be able to connect to this one. See, we have successfully connected. Right click here, click on create schema to create database or schema. Provide the name. Here I am giving name as Arthos course. Click on apply. I am going with defaults. Click on apply. Click on finish. See, new database or schema is added. Go to overview, then databases. See, database has been added. We can also create database here. Click on create database, provide R2 admin. Click on collation. I am going with default collation. Click on create. It is created successfully. Refresh. See, R2 admin is created. Now go to workbench. See, we are unable to see. Just click on this refresh button. See, R2 admin is there. Try to delete this one. That is R2 admin. Click on drop schema. Click on drop now. It is gone. Now refresh this one. See, database has been gone. Click on users. Now create an user here by clicking 
by clicking on add user account provide the name or to admin provide the password here see here the host name allow any host or restrict host by ip address or ip range click on this one here we have to provide the ip range i am giving allow any host then click on add see r2 admin is added go to workbench click on administration click on users and privileges just click on it see here we have r2 admin and root admin here also we can create you account by clicking on add account so like this we can create databases or users if you want to go to databases we have to click on schemas if you want to create a table in this schema or database right click and select set as default schema then click on this sql shell then here we have to provide create table abc id int then put semicolon at the end of the statement click on this execute button see table is created refresh again expand tables see table is there so in this video we have seen how to create mysql instance on gcp or google cloud then we have seen how to connect to mysql instance which is hosted on gcp or google cloud then we have seen how to create database or users in mysql on gcp environment for more videos please subscribe my channel thank you